as you can hear, it's freaking windy up here, and that's the reason why I decided to resynchronize today's vlog for you guys. So we're here currently at Twins Peak, and the view on San Francisco is simply amazing. It's absolutely windy up here, so some people claim that Chicago would be a windy city, but that's an absolutely fairy tale San Francisco in the middle, or better said, in the end of September. It's freaking windy up here. And what I was actually really surprised of was that San Francisco has a really large LGBT culture. Well, we just drove into the Castro neighborhood and as you can see, it looks a little bit different from what we're used to. Seeing my first Fisker in the wild. And isn't it even Henry Fisker? No. Welcome to San Francisco, where the cars are driving on their own like Knight Rider in the past. Okay, I thought I would be amazed already, but as you can see, we just walked into the Wymo parking spot by accident and all of the cars are coming here to rest before they're getting their next assignment to drive someone else around San Francisco. It's simply amazing. I'm definitely going to sign up for the app now because I really want to try it as long as we're here. Look how many readers this car has. This is simply crazy. It's amazing. That's the future. So what's your opinion? Would you sit into a taxi which drive on its own so that you would have a driver less fully autonomous level 4 driving experience I burn for it this is wow as you can see we made it back to Chinatown now that means we're somewhere in the city center of San Francisco and we're going to do some sightseeing now <laughs> Isn't it cool that they left this old trams running? Um, I think if it would be in Germany, they would have stopped it. They would say it's dangerous because people could fall out. But here they're still using it and holding all of the traditions. And they really remind me of the trams driving around Porto or Lisboa in Portugal. It's really cool that they kept this old trams driving around San Francisco. This actually is a turning platform in order to turn around this tiny little tram vehicles here. So let's see how that whole thing is going. So as we can see, the tram is driving on the platform normally. Okay, he's stopping now. What's that? Look, they're pushing it manually to turn it around. Hey, that's crazy this is really old school they are just like turning around by hand the tram on the turning platform hey guys it's 2023 and they're turning around manually like in the good old days this is cool look and now they're pushing it forward to the other side of the tracks so that he can continue driving this is old school this is really museum style authentic. We just browsed a little bit around the internet and figured out that we actually just had the street from the first Levi store ever and we gave it a try to visit it to see how it looks like and it's really interesting to visit Levi's first store ever or best at the location of the original first store and it's a really interesting store it's not like a normal store and yeah see for yourself okay let's try some Japanese food here I'm already excited to see our food we just ordered Japanese beef teriyaki and let's give it a try. I have seen a lot of various escalators in my life, but never around one. Wait, can we finally see the Golden Gate Bridge? I know, oh, that's the Auckland Bridge. 
sorry, that's the Auckland Bridge, yeah. I think that's almost it for today. I'm going to experiment a little bit around with the settings from my camera, and then we're heading back to our accommodation.